There are so many different types of accommodations in so many different areas here in Bali. Today we're showing you a one bedroom loft villa in an up and coming area just 20 minutes outside of Changu. Let's go. This is the villa compound behind me. There's like eight villas in this building, but this is located in an area called Chimagi, which is just 25 minutes drive outside of Changu. It didn't take long to get here. And they're saying that Chimagi might become like the new big Changu. There are so many huge, beautiful villas being built around here. Here's a beautiful villa here, and then look behind it. <laughs> How beautiful is this villa? And the thing that makes Chimagi so incredible is the rice fields. You will not find this many rice fields in Changu. It's beautiful, it's open, it's spacious, there's palm trees everywhere, it's awesome. There's black sand beaches around here too. But anyway, I'm getting too ahead of myself, let's go show you the villa. This compound is so new that it's still being built and renovated a little bit, but You'll find that all over Chamagi, lots of construction sites, lots of people building here. It's really starting to turn into a little Changu, but it's still so much more quiet than Changu and more isolated and more local and beautiful. I mean, look, I'm looking at the most incredible rice fields right now. Anyway, oh my gosh, let's go show you the villa. This is our friend's brand new one bedroom loft villa that's self-catering and we're lucky enough to be one of the first people to stay in here to test it out, give him some advice on where to make this like just the best villa ever but it's kind of already there. Let's take you on a tour. Ding dong! This is where, so this is actually listed on Airbnb. This is where you'll get your keys and put in the code. I said self-catering, but it's really like a private villa for those that want everything included but not have to share a home with someone or a villa with someone. So you've got your own pool, private, this is yours. Two little cushion chairs there and an outdoor shower. This pool is actually so deep, it's so cool. And it's so refreshing, it's not a warm pool. It's nothing worse than coming back from the beach and being so hot and then getting into a warm pool. This is nice. This is nice and cool, and it's actually pretty big for a splash pool. I'm pretty impressed. Floaty over there, some flowers, pretty pretty, and then sliding doors. You might be wondering why on earth they chose a popcorn floaty, and that's because this villa is actually like a cinema, home cinema villa. You'll see it a bit later, we'll show you the cinema. But yeah, this is the downstairs area, super spacious. Fully inclusive kitchen here. We've got a stove, microwave, we've got pots and pans and everything. I mean, look at these. Aren't these nice pots? Oh my goodness. Everything, bottle openers, spatulas. Oh, nice cups and things. <laughs> More pots, a coffee maker. What's this thing called? A kettle. Brut, not. It's a toaster, not a kettle. Goodness gracious. We've got a fridge, dishwashing, liquid, hand wash. One thing that's really rare to get in Bali is a microwave though. So this is literally most welcome. It's, it's so hard to find a place with a microwave. We've got a water dispenser, hot, cold, warm. We've got a guest bathroom here that's just got a toilet and a sink in it. This is a sleeper couch here and here's a little projector system that we'll show you a bit later. <laughs> We've got a desk with two chairs. We're always looking for desks and tables and places to work at and this one has no shortage of that you'll see. We've got the storage area here, fan down here. There's no air conditioning here but you don't need it because the air conditioner from upstairs comes down here. So about the projector system, it's over here. It's freaking massive. It covers the doors here but it also projects onto that wall. So we'll show you a bit later when we have dinner and it's dark and we'll show you what the projector looks like at night. You can watch it during the day as well. I'm just really excited to have it over the pool though. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's go upstairs anyway. I love the smell. Everything's brand new wood, so you just, oh, it just smells so nice and natural. Okay, welcome to the cutest little bedroom ever. It is, the decor is just so perfect here. It gets such good sunlight. I think it's overcast right now, so you're not seeing the sun coming in here. But we slept here last night, and bro, this bed is so comfortable. The linen is great. The pillows are great. Look how thick this mattress is. Hmm. It is a one. We've got towels, everything provided in here. And then here's the little desk area that Rhett's been using. I think if you watch our vlogs, you'll know how important work areas are for Rhett. So yeah, most welcome. TV, but you won't use this because there's literally a huge projector system downstairs with surround sound. There's sound bars everywhere. It's, we'll, we'll show you later, I'm so excited. And then this is a balcony. Oh, tiny little cute desks. I mean, just a tiny little desk. I don't think my bum will fit on that one. No. Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, this is actually pretty cool though. I read I would like that one though to look at the rice fields. Yeah, so there's this one here and then one behind it. Okay, then we've got a mosquito net here that you don't actually need to use because there weren't any mosquitoes last night. There's even a mosquito machine, so they really are prepared for mosquitoes, but as I said, there weren't any mosquitoes, right? Yeah, I didn't get bitten at all. Yeah, I didn't hear any. Maybe in the ra rainy season? Who knows? Uh, air conditioning up here works perfectly, and it's actually pretty strong because this is a very high ceiling and it's a double story, and air conditioning makes its way downstairs as well, so really good and then I just really love this bathroom sheesh the lighting look at the skylight Wee. in here you've got a closet area to store all your stuff you've got the sink they give you hand soap towels hair dryer toilet paper toilet with bum gun and then this beautiful shower and we've got conditioner body wash and shampoo and then look at these windows I've never seen windows like this. Yee. Just for some fresh air if you want to have an open air kind of shower. Pressure and temperature of the water of the shower is really, really good. Uh, no complaints for... Wow, two of them. For that, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm so distracted by how much Sunday is. Can <gasps> sunbathe here? Yeah, it's like kind of like an indoor slash outdoor shower. Feels like it, hey. Or bathroom. But if it rains, you're not gonna get flooded. How, this, how pretty is this? This is really cool. You've got the kitchen to cook for yourself. You've got grab and go Jake to order food if you want. Later on in the video, we show you some cafes that you can visit that are close by. And we are so close to a beautiful beach, so we'll show you that later on as well. This villa is really, really good for people that are wanting to stay in Bali long term. Oh yes, Wi-Fi is so good here too. It's like 100 megs and at the moment we're having a bit of an issue with the internet in Bali. This is really a good, good find. If you're looking to stay in Bali for a long period of time, you're a digital nomad, you maybe want to lease out long or a couple of weeks, this is a really good spot. And you want peace and quiet and not to be in the sense of Changu where there's so many people and it's so built up and barely any rice fields, then yeah, it's a good, good spot. We are absolutely loving our time here. Thank you for having us, Tim and Katrin. You guys are awesome. We're just gonna do some swimming in the pool, uh, relaxing. Clary's already enjoying her little floaty down there. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. Oh, so fabulous. And then I'm gonna make use of the nice workspace to do some work upstairs. And then tonight we will show you the beach and go out for a little bit of dinner. I also forgot to mention, if you're not happy with your workspace upstairs, there's also a common workspace area in the building that you can go and use. There's a Wi-Fi modem up there. It isn't air conditioned at the moment, but the views of the rice fields are amazing. Let's show you that now. To be 
honest, we haven't even checked out this upstairs area. Dude, honestly, look at these. This is one of the common areas for all the villa people to come and work in if you want. I could totes work here. <laughs> oh gosh, the views. Oh, this is epic. Is there an air conditioner in here? Not yet. Not yet. Perhaps they're gonna put it in, I'm sure. Oh, there's a Wi-Fi yeah. modem thingy. One of the coolest parts about this place is it's exactly 90 seconds to the beach. So let's go there now to catch sunset. We've been advised by the host to go and see sunset at the beach. Yeah, let's see, 90 seconds, let's go. Uh. <laughs> no helmets oh. needed because we're just down the road. And what it's I very love quiet. Is that it's so beautiful with the rice fields yeah. in this area. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Chad! It's incredible. It's a little bit outside of Changu, about 20 minutes outside. Um, but it's just it's so worth it for the quietness. Wow, this is stunning. That was 90 seconds for sure. You just gotta pay 2,000 rupee, uh, which is like basically nothing. You just pay that to the car guards, and yeah, it's basically the local community's way of getting some money just from anyone wanting to visit the beach. And this is just such a vibe. What a beautiful place. This does not feel like Changu and surrounds. Like this beach is so black. It's so pretty. How do we get there? This is so beautiful. I've never been here before. I've never even like what? This is such a vibe. It must be one of the best places to come watch the sunset in Bali, honestly. Besides Uluwatu, I would say this is my new favorite place. It is so cool. Just took one little small ladder down and this is a huge black sand beach. Wow. Quite a bit of litter unfortunately, but there's these beautiful black pebbles and the sunset right now just looks so good. There's even a freaking waterfall. <laughs> Let's go find Cleary. How do you like your newfound beach? I love it. I freaking love black sand beaches. Look how black this stuff is. Whoa. I love it. It's so freaking cool. You don't even have to go to Pigstone now to do a photo shoot. You can just come here. Well, like the people behind me are doing a photo shoot. How do you like this, eh? I love this. It's also not too busy. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about at this beach is the big pebbles. Why do you worry about the big pebbles? The ocean's like... Knocking them into. Yeah. Man, this I can highly recommend and what's amazing too is that there are so many cool little places to get drinks and hopefully somewhere to eat dinner. But we'll go check that out a little bit later. Last night's burger was literally 
just what we needed. It was so, so yummy. So definitely go check out the little warungs that have opened along the beach in Jamagi. They've just launched that whole area about four months ago and they're really trying to like get tourists to come around and have a nice sunset evening there. So definitely be sure to check it out when you are here. Two things to note about Chimagi about last night though is it's got better sunset views than any of the beaches in Changu, hands down. And second of all, it is so much cheaper. Like last night was 100k for both of us mm. for three drinks and two meals. That doesn't happen in Changu. Like that just won't happen. So yeah, it's the Bella Ping but it's so much cheaper and more isolated and quiet and less touristy and busy. So if you're looking for that, then psh, this is your place. Okay, so we just had a little drive through the rice fields and we are now in Sese, which is about seven minutes from Chimagi. There's a couple pizza places and coffee shops and breakfast spots here. Finished up breakfast here. It's like such a little hidden cafe, but it's so popular. There's so many foreigners here and so many dogs. I think all of these people have invested in this Sese area. They're smart, so they're like the pioneers of this area. I think this will be the next Changu for sure. Thinking of doing something here, maybe one day. How much was the chapel? Yeah, breakfast was kind of pricey. It was 245 rupiah, which is around 300 rand for two breakfasts, two coffees and a little oat biscuit. I'm pretty sure it's expensive because it's so popular and it's like the only cafe in this area so they can charge whatever they want. But it was delicious, it was really good. We'll put the link in the description so if you do stay at our Airbnb you can find out where this place is. So there's a little co-working space right here. There's like, I don't know, the small little area of like three cafes, a co-working space, all in the same like little area. Besides that, there's not much else in the Sese area. We're going back to Chimagi though, where the Airbnb is, and yeah, let's see what's there. Why are you filming me? Cleary's in a state of meditation. We just went to an amazing spa in Peronan was about 12 minutes drive from the villa. Thank you. And now we're having a lunch at Paso by Nook, which is, if you don't know, Nook is literally one of our favorite. Anything by Nook. Anything by Nook. There's Milo by Nook, there's Nook in Umalas. <laughs> and now it's Paso, which is just outside Peronan. It's about an eight minute drive from the villa. I'll put the link in the description so you know where to come. It is a beautiful cafe with rice terraces and even a swimming pool. Very impressed. Mm. Forgot to mention this stay in this villa and today couldn't have come at a better time because it's our seven year anniversary. That's why we're treating ourselves to a nice breakfast, lunch, spa treatment. It's just been a very, very good day off. And one more thing, it's happening later. You'll have to see. And of course, the Nook restaurants have some of my most favorite smoothie bowls in all of Bali. So of course I'm gonna get one of those. Oh. Anything else? No, no, that's it. Thank yes. you so much. And you for your lunch. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. I haven't had a chicken curry yet in Bali. Very different to an Indian curry, that's for sure. Very coconutty, turmeric-y flavors. Lemongrassy, oniony. One of our favorites, though. Yeah, I do love an Indian curry, though. <laughs> By the way, just randomly, if you watch our Indian videos, you'd know how cheap the food is there. Indian food is so expensive here in Bali. Like, so expensive. But you can barely just eat it. It's just unaffordable, right? Yeah, it's but like 120 k for an Indian meal here. And this is 65 at a nice restaurant, so yeah. quite expensive. 
Yeah, but you don't come to Indonesia to eat Indian food anyway. You have to come get the chicken curry at Paso, everyone. Mm -hmm. It is good. Wow, you're making me want one now. No, Chappie, are you missing out, eh? Oh no, you're gonna leave me some. No. <laughs> Paso by Nook. Can't recommend it enough. It is so good. But time to get some ingredientes for tonight's dinner, which we'll be cooking at the villa. We are going to go to Pepito, which is just a 10 minute drive away from the villa. To come to this pepita all the time when we lived in Kredanan. <laughs> Never been to Bali before? That's basically the best grocery store you can find here on the island. It's got the nicest fresh vegetables and fresh fruits and really good selection of meats, but it is on the pricey side, that is for sure. Oh yeah, it's pretty pricey. <sighs> and we got some popcorn delivered, which is really cool, because we are definitely gonna be making use of that projector tonight. And we're gonna see if we can put it on the white wall behind and somehow watch while in the pool. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Jeepers. You kidding? Whoa. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Who planned this, you or me? Me! <laughs> Number this seven. Me. Oh uh. my god. <laughs> to do this. I also asked him to do this so he must have been like okay I really have to do this. <laughs> So that surprise was a bit of an anticlimax because Clary knew about it because she planned it too. We asked the host to plan something. Each of us asked at separate occasions. And to keep it a secret. And to keep it a secret from one another. But guess what? I planned it first. I planned it first. <laughs> I messaged on Wednesday. You messaged on Thursday. Thursday. <sighs> Just missed that one. Anyway, thank you Tim for planning this. This is so romantic. They also have a whole bunch of other things here at the villa if you want to do a floating breakfast or yeah, any kind of decoration or surprise. They've got a home spa so you can get massages in your own villa, all sorts of they've romantic things. They've got creation teams that can do photo shoots and stuff. Oh yes, they've got creation teams that can do photo shoots for you all around Bali. You can plan shoots with them. They are incredible photographers and videographers too. bolognese something that we love to cook back home and it just makes us feel happy and that we're back home for a little bit yes and it's the easiest meal to cook here <laughs> and it's actually kind of hard to find a good spaghetti bolognese like red spaghetti bolognese is unbeatable Like a legitimate cinema. Whoa. You could sit in the pool and watch it, but then you'd be in front of the projector. Well, you just have to move the projector above your head. 